Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Sing, featuring the voices of Matthew McConaughey, Reese Witherspoon, Seth MacFarlane, Scarlett Johansson, John C. Reilly, Taryn Egerton, and Tori Kelly, directed by Garth Jennings. Now before I get into this, I do remember going to theaters for this, but don't remember a thing about it before I get into the sequel. So let's get straight into this one first, and then I'll get to the sequel next week. Let's begin. We open in a theater where a show is being sung by some actors on stage where we follow a different animal characters like Buster Moon, voiced by Matthew McConaughey, who grows up to run of the theater as he's a disgrace at the theater business as he rides his bicycle while Johnny, voiced by Terry Egerton, sings and his father is robbing his bank, and Rosita, voiced by Reese Witherspoon, is at sh as she and her husband Norman have a million piglets, and Ash, voiced by Scarlett Johansson, has a singer slash boyfriend who would be in front of her as her band, and as Mina, voiced by Tori Kelly, tries to be a singer but is unsuccessful, and Mike, voiced by Seth MacFarlane, loves his life as a clarinet player and steals money from other animals, and I'm deeply enjoying them as characters while we see what their lives are like before they become a thing, and how we'll see them in a sequel. Buster sees Eddie, voiced by John C. Riley, to talk about a singing competition show, and his assistant, Miss Crawley, voiced by the movie's director, Garth Jennings, spreads the word of giving $1,000, but instead puts... $100,000 to the winner of his singing competition show. He gets a bunch of people auditioning for the show, and the auditions go rather okay as he gets some animals, but not all of them, as that's what show business is all about. But these scenes are clever as the characters I brought up earlier, except for Mina, as she got forced out by Mike, as they get elected but while everyone is out of the stage with Gunter, voiced by Nick Kroll, who partners with Rosita, and the three frogs, and Pete, as he learns it was a $100,000. And the bank won't loan him the money, as Buster has to try in order to save his theater, and his performance in the animation works as this is a pretty-looking movie by Illumination Studios, who was the creators of the Despicable Me and Minions films. And I'm looking forward to seeing how the Rise of Gru is. I hope it's an improvement, but... As after they're coming up with... Anyways. And the new Super Mario film coming up next year, which I'm planning on reviewing for reasons I'll get to next year. And their animation is always as clever as Pixar's, in my opinion. The rehearsals begin as some of them can't work together while the power goes out, and Buster falls, feels pretty incompetent while Mina wants to audition it a second time and bumps into Buster as he considers her a backstage hand. And Mike thinks the $100,000 belongs to him as he's the selfish character. Ash thinks about writing a song and Mina is back home and her grandmother spread the word in her neighborhood as she's sort of, as she's sort of in the show while Rosita comes home with her fam to her family and Buster gets a visit from Judith the banker, as she'll take the property from him and visits Eddie at his parents' house as he lives in the pool house. And I like how we follow up char different characters and different points of views. As Pete and the frogs quit the show, Mina auditions a second time for the show as she's nervous and she has the most arc I know in this whole movie. Johnny gets a call from his father while Ash is broken up by her boyfriend, Lance, and as a and has a new partner slash girlfriend named Becky, which made me feel sorry for the two of them. While Mike gets thrown out of a club by some bears as he runs them over, while Buster goes to Eddie's nana and asks for some money for the show and gets her a private showing. While Johnny goes to a mob hit with a his father and brothers and leaves them behind while Ash is upset from the night before when Lance broke up with her the night before and they rehearse as for Nana as Johnny performs and gets held up by traffic and his father and brothers get arrested while Ash writes an original song which sounds better than what her boyfriend wants her to be 
and Johnny rehearses a lot of... And Rosita gets some groceries. And I'm liking these stories of these characters while the plot is working fine. And the writing in this, uh, these different animals work pretty good in the movie. Rosita's husband Norman realizes Rosita isn't home while Buster calls everyone to the backstage as they prepare for the private showing with Eddie and Nana. And they arrive to see the show while Mike is approached by three, the three bears and he's the tiny Goldilocks. And they grab him and expose Buster, the liar, for the liar he is. And they break the theater, no thanks to Mike, as the place floods and breaks itself apart. And it's abandoned with Buster and his family with everyone heartbroken. And the story is good thus far, as he goes to his friend's pool house while the group visits him there as they try to cheer him up while he gets everybody down. Which is depressing, sure, as the movie has heart. Buster becomes a car wash machine, as he's pretty bad at it at first, and Eddie becomes the dry towel while he hears singing where the theater is located at, and Mina sings Hallelujah and wants to get everyone back together to perform a live show, as this is a nice cheer-up from the movie, while Mike decides to leave the group, as there's no prize money, and they start performing for a small audience. And it eventually grows bigger and bigger as they're on live TV, except for Mike, as he's where Buster was at the in the beginning of the movie, which is was a disgrace as he tries to be famous but goes nowhere to being famous. While Johnny performs and sings on the piano, and his father breaks out of prison and wants to see Johnny singing in the piano, and the next performer, Ash, almost gets interrupted by Judith, the banker, but she continues to sing her original song while Judith calls the police and being rather rude as Mike comes back and sings the song when Johnny's father comes to see Johnny backstage and says how proud of him he is with the performance and the helicopters almost blows them away. But he finishes the song and Johnny's father returns to prison and Mina is petrified as the, she sings the last song and gets the audience wowed while Mike runs for his life, and his girlfriend grabs him f from the three bears, and Nana is pleased with the show, and Buster is back owning the theater, his theater, I'll say, with the help of Nana, and the climax was nice and simply fun. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 7.1 out of 10. The story is good, as I do like the performers as their characters, and the story works well. The animation is good as the whole family will enjoy the movie with the singing and the character arcs work pretty good. The movie does a good job while making likable characters as I do like the movie and hopefully the sequel will hopefully be, be as good or better than... But I had a good time with the characters. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me and next time we'll be back with Sing 2. And until then, just sing.